What is going on, everybody? Thank you for showing up. This is uh, the continuation of our series from last week where we are going player by player down the list, getting to know these guys a little bit better, heading into the first season of the Overwatch League. And as you can see, he's here. He's in the team house in Las Vegas. Uh, we're excited to have this guy. First time that I've ever talked to him. Uh, Nomi, what's going on, man? Yeah, what's up, man? What's up, Corey? How you doing, man? I'm good. So take us back through just how you ended up here from from childhood you grew up in mexico born and raised uh you know when did you come stateside what, what was what was life like for young nomi well uh pretty much yeah i was uh, born in mexico i have been living there all my life uh the english the english that i know i pretty much learned it from uh elementary school uh i didn't practice it until i was like around 19 20 years old and then um the first time that I, I visited the States when I was like super young, like I went to Disneyland and, you know, uh, and water parks and whatever. But uh, overall, I, I haven't been here that many times. Um, I think that the last time before this one was when I was uh, on the Immortals team uh, playing Overwatch uh, where I went to L.A. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, you know, my English is a little bit, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, I'm trying to practice as much as I can. <laughs> Dak is actually saying that he's going to, you know, teach me, um, you know, a little bit. But yeah, uh, yeah, I have been living in Mexico all my life. So I think I asked this question. I, I can't remember who it was recently. But when you think, do you think in Spanish still or do you think in, in English? Uh, I think like right now, I, I barely talk any Spanish. Like sometimes I like, you know, try to make fun of Dak in Spanish. But that's pretty much it. So I would say that... Uh, uh, I'm 100% English right now. Like I would say, like 90, 90, 95% of the time, I'm just like thinking in English. Uh, it's kind of crazy, actually, how you know that that transition. Pretty much, it's it's like yeah, it feels it feels kind of crazy. <laughs> What's it like? Because you've been on the team for a while now, uh, but you've just moved into the team house uh, in Vegas recently, within the last couple of days. So what's it? What's scrims and and practice like different now that you're actually in the team house? with these guys as opposed to online? Well, uh, there's like a big difference, uh, in my opinion, like uh, getting to know them in person and just like, you know, sharing out with them on a daily basis. Like you kind of like build mo more chemistry between them. And also like every time that you're scrimming, it's like a lot easier to like uh, talk about problems or talk about uh, things that went wrong on the scrim, which, you know, we have a, a lot of talent on the team, but we still need to play a lot together. We need that team synergy. So uh, being together here in the same place uh, really helps develop that a little bit faster, in my opinion. So overall, it's just like way better. For all the ladies out there, are you taken? Are you spoken for? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, currently I am single. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. You don't want to go into, into depth on that one. I mean, it's good to stay single going into Overwatch League because you're about to be a big... You know, video game superstar. People are gonna be throwing themselves at your feet. I'm sure. Uh, so, is it was that strategic? Uh no, not really. I was um, uh, pretty much uh, since I was like 19, 20 years old. Uh, I had to make a lot of uh, uh kind of like sacrifices in my life. Uh, I would say that I had to drop school to like take care of my mother and my oh. sister, um, financially. So I started working from when I was really young. And pretty much I had to focus all my time into like my job, my family, and video games. So unfortunately, it didn't give me any time to like, you know, look for that special person. <laughs> um, but yeah, not, not too long ago, I was talking with someone. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, it's not a necessary thing. I guess uh, I haven't explored that much, uh, but I really want to, to be honest. So uh, Leads into another really good question from uh, Gooch in chat. He says, are you excited to represent an area like the SF Bay? Uh, that has a very strong Mexican Latino culture. And did that play into you choosing this team? Um, I will say that yeah, I'm super excited. You know, having people that uh, support you from your region. I would say from from Mexico. It's like it feels really good because uh, even though we have a lot of uh, people up up here, like uh, it's not like you know, it feels really good. It feels like if you were. Like, all, when I read all those DMs, all those comments of uh, uh, people that speak my language are saying kind words and stuff like that, like, it's amazing. Like, people have been telling me that I'm kind of like an inspiration for them because, like, esports is not, like, a big thing in, in my country. It's like, uh, like you know, it's like a completely different level up here. 
So it feels really good. I, I'm so happy to represent uh, San Francisco. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just blessed, to be honest. Very good. Uh, here's a good one. Uh, this is one that was, I think, from a Twitter question. Uh, what's your favorite movie of all time and why? I like uh, this. Uh, the, do you remember the movie Gladiator? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I seen that one. Uh, Russell Crowe. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's like a really like I would say like an old movie. I love that movie. Uh, like every time I watch it, I just want to like watch it again. It's a really. It's kind of like a person that he was really high and then he dropped low and then he climbed back up. So I kind of like I kind of like like that uh that type of person. I would say you know he was like a general in the army and then he pretty much became like a like a slave and then he started you know fighting at the coliseums so it shows how you know people that are high can drop down and then just they can just climb back up you know and I, to me that's like uh really it motivates me pretty much so i love that movie overall <laughs> people in chat mentioned spoilers uh, i think you've been a little dramatic there because the movie's been out for like 20 years yeah. so <laughs> yeah it's it's an old movie. uh let's see what are you enjoying most about just like culture in uh, america so far and like uh specifically vegas and, and hanging out with the dudes is there certain restaurants you're digging a lot or what, what do you like so far just about being with the guys well something that's uh <laughs> that's really funny is we have we have eaten a lot in mexican places and i'm like <laughs> dude this is like i came here to try new stuff you know and we're eating tacos and quesadillas and carnitas and like man i want to try something new you know um but overall like there's a lot to, to eat here in vegas it's like crazy like how many like whatever type of food you want to eat like you, you can just go get it you know um what's what i love here is like the burgers like burgers are amazing here like it's it's crazy like the first place that i went to when i got here uh as soon as i landed on the airport uh max picked me up and he, uh, i i asked he asked me hey what do you want to go eat and i told him let's go to in and out and the, those burgers are so good man i love it uh papa Gold wants to see, uh, know what were your trials like or what was it like to get onto the team uh was it a pretty long process for your uh auditioning your your trialing or did it happen pretty quick uh, were you one of the first guys one of the last guys take us kind of through how you made it to the team i think i was like one of the last guys um pretty much what happened was um i was getting a couple of tryouts for different teams and I did, uh, I saw, you know, there, there was some kind of like information of, about the the uh, energy roster. So I was really interested. So I messaged uh, Sefi, told him, hey, you know, are you guys still looking for a tank? And then he said, hell yeah. So um, so a, day, a couple of days after that, I play a one scrim with them. Uh, they really like it. And then the second day they say, hey, you know, you want to just be on the team. And I say, hell yeah, because I really like the teammates. Like, the team itself is, like, amazing. I, I love uh, the players. There's a lot of talent. Um, it, I just said yes immediately. Like, I didn't I didn't explore any other options because of how, how... It is really important that you have, like, that you like your teammates, you know, that you like playing with them and just, like, chilling with them, etc. So, uh, by the second day, I was already in, pretty much. Uh, you recently tweeted on the 19th of October that it was your first time you're going to the gym. Did it mean this week, this month, the first time in your life? And how was it? Yeah, it's pretty much the first time in my life that I actually go to the gym. Um, I've worked out in the past, but just like, you know, do basic cardio and stuff. Um, but yeah, this this was like the first time going to the gym. Um, Dak and Baby Bay have like really good like gym background experience. So they helped me out. It was like having two personal trainers pretty much, which is really important, you know, for someone that doesn't, like you go to the gym and there's like a billion machines and you don't know what to do. <laughs> so they just pretty much just like uh, grab me by the hand. They told me, hey, let's do this, uh, do this amount of weights, etc. And yeah, it was my first time doing it. And it feels so good, man. Like everything hurts. My legs hurt, my chest, my back. Everything hurts, but it feels so goddamn good. Like you just like a baby. I, I love it. Do you feel like, uh, you know, being more physically active uh, actually helps in game performance yes i think so by the second day that we went to the gym like on the on the well we went to the gym the first on the second day on scrims like i don't know it just feels so good like 
we were fragging out. It was it was really good. I don't know if it is the gym, but I, it feels like it is the gym. To be honest, it's crazy. It just like I don't know. Honestly, I think it's just like it feels better in my opinion. So just try it out. That that helps you. You got any uh, messages out there for the San Francisco fans who are looking forward to your guys' uh, inevitable arrival to the Bay Area? Is there anything you want to say to them? Yeah, um, me personally, I'm working really hard to make sure that this works. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be grinding the game a lot. I'm going to be working with the team as much as I can. Uh, I really, like like I said, I want, I want, this, to, I want this to work so hard. Um, and I want to make sure that you guys are not disappointed. So I'm going to try really hard for, for San Francisco. Awesome. San Francisco shock. The shock. Thank you for your time. Nomi, you're awesome. So with that, see you guys later. Bye.